Hey everyone, welcome back. So we've uh, survived this long. Let's see how much longer I can go. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I should be turning these off. Because I can easily turn them back on when the next attack comes. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about... I'm going to push up Taylorin. Uh, that way I can get Sora up to crafting level 3. And when she has crafting 3, then I can start doing the fuel mixing. So I'm just going to press play. I also need a lot more power. So let's get some solar panels up. I think that's an okay spot. Uh, these take some scrap. So, ooh. Sora needs to take a little break. And what's Hope doing? Uh, she's smelting the scrap. I'll have, I'll have uh, Hope scrap these. We should get some more scrap and, ho <coughs> and hopefully some fuel for her. Because I think she's really low on food. Not sure why she went up there. Okay, while she's working on that, I was thinking about uh, rearranging this. So I'm going to go and click copy. It's come right down here. So we'll get something like this set up. I'll just click on the stone wall. We'll take this down. Okay, she has she's under a DOS attack, denial of service. So she'll have reduced rate of skill experience gain. Unfortunately, she didn't find anything, but we did get some scrap. And I'll need the scrap for those solar panels. Hope they've got enough. Yeah, I think I... Well, maybe not. So I'll work on that. Hopefully we get a bunch more here. The other thing with the farm, I'm thinking this area could be a great spot for a new base. Basically, I want to build a shelter in the center and then have sort of like a maze where the first layer of the maze will bring them to where the traps start, the flamethrowers and the turrets and things. It's going to take me a long time to figure that one out, but I can put some fortifications here so that uh, this ridge there can kind of be like a... Uh, a wall for us. It's not too important, but I think it's a nice looking location. So I'm going to have to go to the farm here, and we're not going to plant anymore. We'll just harvest this, and then I'll move that over here. So this stuff is more fertile for like the grains, and but for the the silicon flowers, they do fine basically anywhere. But but the best is like my is 50% fertility, so it's not the greatest soil. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I'm just going to jump ahead until the morning. So I'm going to get Sora to do things like make some soup. That'll keep her mood up a lot higher. I think she's hungry right now, yeah. So she'll eat that and she'll get a benefit from it. Eventually I'll get the sensors researched. So I won't have to fiddle around with uh, these turrets. Yeah, I... So I don't want to build too many turrets and attract like big attacks. I'm not sure if that's uh, if that's how it works in this game. But uh, I'm going to move these back here because they all come around and they'll kind of peek around the corner. And I want them to step into harm's way first. So I don't know, like something... I think something like this, so you can't have these too close to each other, so one of them will be like, they'll have to peek around the corner at least, or maybe step out to shoot this one. And I'm going to move down, move down the opening here, and I'll build a wall there. What did they, did I do the wrong thing? Okay, so this one they might 
have to actually step out. If they step out, hopefully they'll step into the, into harm's way. But I, I can't, I can't refuel these. They're totally out. But that's, that'll be hopefully later this episode. I'll have some more fuel. But for now, I've got to make sure that the batteries are up, and I. I should be able to make some more batteries. I think they take alloys. Let's look at that quickly. Yeah, alloys and, and electronics, which I'm doing pretty good with. Yeah, so just keep jumping ahead while they sleep. Well, I found some silicon down here. So I'm going to double click that. We'll get uh, maybe Sora or Hope to scavenge that. I thought I found some uh, unique looking rocks. I wouldn't mind getting that research so that I can uh, start crafting the the respirators because we do get a fair bit of toxic ash here. Yeah, I'm just not seeing it. So I, th I was looking around and I saw it somewhere. Interesting rock, that's where it is. Yeah, so we'll get that observed. I'll make sure she gets the tailoring done first though. And then with the iron ore, then I can start crafting the respirator. Let's go see what Hope is doing. Oh, did I get tailoring done? Okay, that's great. So the flare shield in... I'm going to bump up... the coffee. Anything to make uh, Sora a little bit happier. I've got no idea where I'm going to build this uh, tailoring workbench. So I'm just going to cancel the smelting of all the scrap. Because sometimes I do get alloys from these guys. So just get started to play some darts. Because uh, one of the things I've got to do is expand on this. I'll keep her out of the rain. And so hopefully it stops raining soon. And do we have enough stone? Yeah, I think we do. Uh, I, ideally, I could just expand this out and then put a freezer eventually. I mean, I could just put a tailor and bench out here. I have to go for metal though. And I should also build some defenses. So I'm going to have plenty of nanotubes. Just from uh, deconstructing the, the crossbows that they have. So for here I'm going to build just a carbon fence. And that'll give the turret some cover for any of the any robots that come around that corner. And I should also light up this area. Can't fit one there. That should be good enough, I think. And then with that build, uh, I think she's going to get... Her clothing must be wearing out, yeah. So Hope has an alert. A consortium ship is attempting to pinpoint my location. If I deactivate myself immediately, we can evade their attack. No, we're going to have to face them. I don't want her off the line for a couple of days. I need her working. So for tops, we'll get a t-shirt first. We'll do that once and then it's going to get cold eventually. So I think we'll do something like a light jacket. And actually I could probably do, after she's done this, I'll just do a bunch of shirts or something. So we'll jump ahead until when the attack happens. Okay, here they come. I've got everyone set up. I got the turrets turned on. I forgot to build this wall here. Uh, but that's okay. Just wanted to expand this out. So hopefully when they come around here, hopefully they'll have to step right into the, the line of fire. Yeah, that's perfect. So I think if they're 
Yeah, right there. Uh, potentially both of those will get the flamethrower on them. Now the spec ops have 250 integrity, so they're, they're quite deadly. Wow, it's just one left. I'm just gonna speed this up. I I really don't want it. Ooh. Yeah, let's get both of these. Okay, there we go. So that was that went by pretty good. Sometimes we get the laser pistol 2.0 from those guys. And we'll get all those guys scavenged. And then we'll just turn these off as well. Yes, yeah, so that was great. Just those two turrets are really saving me. I think she was healing herself. Yeah, she got two painful scars, which is going to make her unhappy. But as soon as she's uh, crafting one, I'll have her uh, start making the, the juice leaf balm. Because if they don't have the the balm for their uh, their burns, then they get those painful scars and infections, things like that. But man, this this is going pretty good so far, it, uh, especially for insane difficulty. But you just never know what the next attack is going to be like. Okay, good. those are turned off. The batteries are doing really well, and I should really just have her. Uh, sewn a t-shirt. And now that I have a bunch of grain, I'm going to have to start... Uh, I should keep around 50 of these in stock. I uh, hope has just been busy doing all the farming. So I'll just jump, jump ahead until the next day. Okay, for their schedule, I'm going to have them... Uh, relax at the same time. So I think I'll do like uh, two hours right there. So Sora had a breakdown. I just couldn't keep her happy. She has those two painful scars, and until those heal, it's gonna it's gonna be a while. I did find two uh, energy gel uh, the, with the previous scavenge of these guys. So Hope's doing okay. I guess Hope must have just healed her. That's great. I'll get Hope to scavenge all these. I really need to find that Ener Gel. But even getting AI cores or anything would be great. Oh, a Pulse Rifle 2.0. That's awesome. Yeah, so Sora's doing uh, much better with the Catharsis benefit. And uh, we had Hope discover the ore. She just had to finish researching that. The other thing too is I think I wanna, you gotta research manure. So we'll have Hope observe that. It'll just help ensure that we can uh, have our silicon uh, producing a lot faster. So I think she's probably going to go and observe that. It shouldn't take too long. Now what's Sora doing? I'm just going to have Sora to cook some veggie soup. And we still haven't got the cereal researched. But now we can harvest or... Oh yeah, turn that into liquid manure. Uh, liquid fuel. I should be fine with just the grains for now, though. So I should have an, an additional meal to choose from, which will make her happier. I'm just going to have her relax, and then we'll send her to bed. So I'll just I'll uh, jump to the morning. Okay, they just landed and they immediately attacked one of these like dinosaur lizards. Oh, they killed two of them, but man, that, there's 11 uh, G1000 and two spec ops. So I still should be fine. I was in the 
process of trying to replan this. So I guess I'll just go and cancel what I was doing there. And we'll get these on. I heard to do that right now, then and then repair them. And then while they're doing they're doing that, I'm gonna make sure there's coffee being made. Okay, they're super close. I'm just gonna go and get open here. So that door was built, which makes it a little bit easier for them to get into here. Uh, are these that damaged? No. So I'm just going to go and bring Sora right there. Wow, these battles are good. <laughs> they could, this one could be intense. I think the turrets will make short work of the G1000 though. Ooh, they made it that far. Yeah, it's just like a few shots and they're dead. So it's actually great that the numbers are higher because I, ha I, I really have to get more of that energy as much as possible. So have Hope do that immediately. There, I got another laser pistol 2.0. So what was her issue? Oh, uh, pneumonia. Yeah, so maybe this is a good setup. Uh, for now, I'll just move that down here and then potentially get another turret up here. I'm just going to have her move the middle tailor bench and then work on crafting. Just get her a jacket because it's a little bit cool, especially at nighttime. And then there's uh, some hot coffee for her when she's done. Which reminds me, if you're enjoying this series, please hit the like button, subscribe, consider clicking the join button to buy me a cup of coffee each month. And uh, all members for now have early access to videos that I've banked up. But I'm still releasing one video to everyone uh, per day. Which is what I normally do. It's just a perk for uh, the members. So nothing's really changing with that. But yeah, from here I'll just, uh, I think she's still, yeah, zero crafting. So we'll just jump ahead until the next day. Okay, so we got all of the ore mined out there. I think it's right here. And then Hope is bringing at least some of it back. Oh, she's bringing all of it, I think. So I got the tool smithing research. Now I just have to do the, that unlocks the respiratory masks. So we'll get that next. You know, Sora has a brand new t-shirt, light jacket. At one point it was like minus 11 at night. So that'll keep her happy. It's still very difficult to keep her happy though. But the, I guess the caffeine's helping. And then I've constructed a new uh, stockpile here. So we didn't have any space for the ore. And we're doing well with uh, silicon energy L2. We have three left. So I don't mind those big battles. I really think I'm going to need a third though. And so for this one, I don't know, I, I might want to keep it up here. I think that'll be all right. And the next thing Sora does, we'll have her craft if she can craft that oh she can good so they'll keep her so much happier and then 
now Hope can work on the flare shield in which we desperately need and then the sensor devices. So I have to worry about turning the turrets on and off. And then after that, uh, I think freezers and then refriger uh, refrigerators, then freezers, so that all of my meals will stop rotting and stuff. And we'll be able to keep all of that uh, grain. I think she's still just level one crafting. Yeah. But she's almost done that, and then we'll get her to equip it. It, it should also protect her from the dust storm. Because that was giving her a penalty as well. Oh, she's crafting too, so we're getting close to the fuel. Where's she going now? Yeah, she loves going and eating that syrup. Got the shielding done. And we'll give Hope a break, and I'll just jump ahead again. Okay, we got the sensor devices researched, and I got those moved over. So I think for now, I might just go ahead and do a room. That might be a lot easier. Let's go to housing, and we'll go to room and stone. So what, how many stones is that? 450 stone. 500. That should be big enough. And I'm going to need this for some serious storage now. Oh no, look what we have here. The siege machine. So what's this? Uh, 10 G1, the G1000 but the 5 spec ops. Wow. So what I've been working on... Do I have the stone? Oh, I do. So I did get the third belt. I still only have two batteries, so I'm going to have to remember to turn this on at the last second. But hopefully this should work out. I was hoping to get fuel done by by this episode. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. How much energy do we have there? Uh, just one. So yeah, I, I do love to see these guys. Oh, they're coming right now. So we'll go and get those turned on. I'll get Sora to do that. And then we'll just get Hope to get ready. But well, this is coming along pretty fast. So I'll get like a freezer in there and stuff like that. And eventually I can take down those shelters. I don't know, can that guy fit through a, a too wide space? Uh, hopefully he can. So we're all set here, it looks like. So just, I'll hide Sora around that corner. Make sure these are all turned on. Okay, here they come. Where are they attacking? Oh, they, oh, they got around... How'd that happen? Oh, I, I removed the wall temporarily. Okay, here we go. Oh, they got all the way in there? This guy's almost dead. Yeah, that guy just walked right in there. Took a while for my tourist to target. So I did get some lights there, so it's not saying it's too dark. Uh, but they're getting a cover bonus. Oh, it is saying too dark. All right, I wonder if they're missing this. Okay, I'll get Sora to go and take that guy out. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to light up the whole area, I think, just to get rid of that. So she's doing okay. I did get some burns, but I was able to craft a bit. I think I crafted at least one of uh, that uh, the balm. A 
Okay, so she gets one painful scar for that. And then we'll get those all on control circuit one as well as this. So we don't have to worry about those, turn it on and off. At least hope is get in. I don't have the healing ball, not enough resources. So we'll start harvesting a bunch of this and we'll get that balm in storage. So I have things like the antibiotics and the balm in a, re in a freezer. They'll last indefinitely in a fridge, but I just, I just want like a permanent storage for things. So once that's harvested, we'll just get uh, Sora to start crafting that. I guess she's got a ton of stuff to do anyways. Okay, so they're all in circuit one. I'll try to get batteries soon. Oh, I can probably fit a, a few into here. And then we'll have to, uh, oh, we'll have to research this guy. And Hope is really busy. Now we're not going to uh, replant this. So there's toxic ash, but thankfully Sora has the respirator on. And she's just uh, researching this guy. Uh, those They take two AI cores to craft. Yep, so now we have unlocked uh, mobile turrets in the research section. I'll just wait for the freezer to pop up. Uh, it should pop up now, I think. Yeah, there we go. It's just 12 hours. And then after that, I'm not sure what to get. Yep, mobile turrets, refrigerators. Okay, so the room is almost done. Put on the stone paving. And then I think Hope will be done this pretty soon. So yeah, this will be really nice. So when I was building this room, I think it removed the door or something. So that's why they got in. I'm having a lot of fun with this playthrough. I think it'll be It'd be interesting to see how long I can survive. If I get to the point where, like ideally, I'll start researching, I think service bots. So I haven't found an AI core yet. So, and before I get that, I guess I could go for delivery drones. It'd be great if I could get that as soon as possible. It's too bad. Well, maybe I can find one here. So we'll get all these guys scavenged. And we'll see what we get from that. So the freezers are done. I'll get that up and running. So I don't know. Where should the door be? It doesn't really matter. I th Put that right there. And we'll just jump ahead a bit. Okay, we just got the AI core. I was hoping that would happen. So I think I'm just gonna cancel this for now and the service bots, I can get harvest bot to go and mine or scavenge, cook, and then the service bot will repair and handle and deliver, I think, stuff like that. So I'd probably go for a harvest bot first. Because there's always going to be a lot to scavenge, at least. 
And then when they're not scavenging the bots, they can go and finish off these things. Hopefully find some fuel and things. So we added fuel already? Yeah. So let's see how long she'll last. She does last for a while. But as soon as she's done this, I'll... Have her go and scavenge these guys. Oh, another AI core. What is that? Um, not sure. Okay, I'll get those two guys. Hopefully we'll get some uh, Energel. I think I might have some silicon. So it looks like we don't have any food for her. There is some silicon, so I'm going to go and enable her to eat that. So she'll be fine. It's going to take a long time to uh, grow. So maybe I'll have her... Maybe I'll just enable, use the manure. So I'll jump ahead until all this is done. Wow, so Hope is uh, putting the manure on there already, so that's great. And then I realized I have a ton of like, uh, so with the pikes, I'll get scrap and power cells for scrapping that, and then lots of nanotubes for those. And the laser pistols, you only get scrap. But it depends on the durability, I guess. So we'll get rid of most of those. And I think I already have a laser pike. Yeah, this is looking really good. I'm going to need to build some more shelvin, though. I guess I didn't build a wall here. I think I, I think I will do that. Uh, just in case they break through for some reason. We'll get all that sealed off and then I'll put some more shelve in. And I'll probably start changing things around. So for the freezer, we can have uh, everything in there except syrup. That can stay in the shelf. Uh, cooked meals, of course, and beverages, and no manure. You can have antibiotics and balm. Unfortunately, uh, Hope can't craft that yet. But yeah, I think this is pretty good. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying this series, guys, please hit the like button and we'll see you on the next episode.